All right, so today I'm going to be doing a Valheim weapons tier list in which I go over each type of weapon and see which one is best based on my personal experience. This is just all my opinion. Um, if you don't agree with it, it's okay. Let's just have a civilized conversation in the comments down below. Thank you very much. Now, without further ado, I think we'll get started with one of the best, if not the best weapon in the game, the bows. The bows are really good in this game, as long as you have arrows and you have good enough durability. You can always make more than one bow too. So if your first bow breaks, breaks, you just swap to the second one and start shooting arrows again. Uh, it's really safe, it's a really safe weapon. As long as you have enough arrows for it, you can just sit back, relax, and just start spamming it. And you should be a-okay. Moving on. Uh, the spears. Mm. Spears are really good in combo with uh, the, the, the shield. Almost any single-handed weapon is good with the shield. Just my issue with the spear is that it um, its moveset is just thrusting downward. When I first played this game, I thought that it was going to be like a forward straight line thrust. But it, came, it, it went down like at a 45 degree angle. And it... And sometimes when you want to hit stuff, you have to be really close. It's a little bit weird and iffy to, to finick with, but uh, the spear. Yeah, you can throw it. You can chuck it pretty far. It's pretty fun to hit deers from miles away. You know, it's, it's almost like a, it's almost like a javelin, and it's really fun to play with. But uh, I probably put it in B tier just because of it's a weird thrust where where it goes down instead of straight. If it wasn't for that, I, I'd rank it much higher. Okay, next weapon, uh, Abyssal Harpoon. Almost like a spear, but it comes back to you. Um, I think I've seen a video where some dude abuses the mechanic and uses the Abyssal Harpoon on a boat and it allowed them to sail in whatever direction they wanted. It's a pretty groundbreaking glitch, but not everybody's gonna be using the monitor buff all the time. And the monitor buff only lasts about like five minutes and Ah, the map is so big that five minutes doesn't even really mean much most of the time. I mean, I knew the monitor buff, but sometimes I wish I didn't because I could carry like a different buff that would be much better. And most of the time you're always on the boat too, especially like in a mid game. Late game you're using portals and stuff, but you still gotta transport ores and stuff on your boat. So, hmm, I think we're gonna, we'll have to see where this thing goes. I'll put it in C tier just because of that glitch. Uh, until they fix that glitch, I think I will drop it down lower, but as of now, I think C tier works well just because you can catch serpents with it. Uh, the thing, the the the, low, the spear head always comes back to you, and the glitch, the durability is pretty whack on this thing though. So moving on, um, we will go with the pickaxe. Pickaxe is a pretty uh, crappy weapon. Not gonna lie, uh, as a weapon, it doesn't do much. It, you really it's so hard to hit sometimes like i swear i'm gonna hit it but then i land just right in front of them so it, it, it only has one move really it's only good for mining don't ever use it for anything else please i mean unless you really want to but yeah it's not, not a really good weapon um the axe the single-handed axe to be specific really good weapon um the black metal axe I believe does a max damage of 110 when you upgrade it all the way um, so that's a pretty good amount of damage even its base damage is pretty high at 95 so uh, I'd say like there's a trick with the axe where you can miss the first two hits and land the third one and the third one will do like a really high amount of damage uh, that's my trick for cutting trees I don't know if, I think it works pretty well for attacking mobs too uh, I, I, I'm gonna rank it on A because it has a good move set, but it doesn't have a secondary attack, which is a shame. Okay, now next one. Speaking of axes, we'll just stick with the axes, the battle axe, two handed, two handed battle axe. Really fun weapon. Uh, makes you feel like a raider from For Honor. Uh, it hits hard, well, decently hard. I think its max damage is max damage is 93. So not as hard as like black metal upgraded, or not even not even that. Like just base black metal weapons are a lot higher than the battle axe. But 
really fun weapon to use. I really wish there was more more variations of the battle axe. Hopefully in the future they'll add more. But as of now, uh, my only downfall of it is that it has a slow attack speed. So I think I'll put it in D tier just because of its slow attack speed. Now next, um, we'll go with the two-handed. Two-handed, the two-handed blunt weapons. Um, like stag breakers and the iron battle hammer, whatever. Uh, not gonna lie, I don't really like these guys. They, they're only good for like fighting bone mass and skeletons. But other than that, that's the only thing they're good at. Uh, even later in like late game you're not gonna really worry about skeletons and slimes and stuff because you can just one shot them they get one shot at my goblins really easily so nah, I don't know I don't really like the, the battle axe because it has one move no, not the battle axe I don't really like the hammers the two handed hammers because it only has one move and you just slam down over and over it doesn't have a secondary move and it's a really slow um really slow attack speed so we're gonna leave it e tier we're just gonna make it a little bit above the f a little bit above the the pickaxe just because we can actually hit stuff with it okay moving on we will go with the knives um knives in this game are really fun they have like a times 10 backstab multiplier on them uh they don't do that much damage but they have a really cool move set really fast attack speed and like if one of the coolest moveset where you lunge and plunge on an enemy i mean i really like using it i think it makes me feel like a freaking assassin at times but i just wish it did a little bit more damage even with that backstab it doesn't do enough i've tried testing it against trolls a few times to see how much damage i would do by backstabbing them it really didn't do a lot so if anyone has ever been able to backstab a troll with the knife and do a bit of good damage let me know because I've been doing some testing and it, it's just been really bad so I think I'll put it in like D tier just because if it's with the, it's a good attack speed but it's not good against fighting against 1v2 if you're going 1v1 it's pretty decent if you pair it with the shield but ah by itself it's not that good all right next we'll go with the swords easy S tier why because it has a uh, secondary attack that does a thrust so it's a good distance closer um, it has a good chain combo uh, it's not that expensive I, it's not as expensive as making the ad gear and they can do a lot of damage i think black metal sword does like 113 when it's maxed out so it's really good damage damaging weapon really good with the sword and shield just a really good weapon in general the next weapon we'll go with the at gear now the at gear is like a better version of the spear just because of its boost set and it has like a stun or something kind of a it has like a circular um a circular secondary attack and it's really good for fighting against hordes of mobs so i would rank it like a little bit above the the spear yeah, a high B tier just because of its moveset. Now the ad gear is a little bit expensive to make and you can't pair with the shield. So pairing is a little bit of an issue with this guy. Uh, if it wasn't for that, I'd rank it a lot higher. So we're going to keep it in, in high B tier for now. Now moving on to the second to last, the single handed mace weapons like Frostner and uh, the iron maces, etc really good weapons uh they have a good mob clearing secondary attack where you do like a circular swing or whatever um decent attack speed i'd say uh a tier because of its uh secondary attack now in terms of attack speed it's not very fast but you can always pair with the shield so that's why i'm gonna put it in a high a tier okay the torch uh, S tier? No, we're gonna put it in F tier. It's a really fun weapon and use. It's like a club, but you can put things on fire. So if you're gonna have a person that likes to make things, catch things on fire, then the torch is the one for you. But other than that, it doesn't really do damage. It's fun to use against friends, though, when you enable PvP and you smack each other with a torch. Really fun, but it doesn't do enough damage. Um, 
yeah so f tier and again this is just my opinion so if you guys have anything else you would like to add or if i miss anything please let me know in the comment in the comments below let's have a decent and nice conversation um again thank you guys very much for watching this video let me know what you guys think below and i will see you guys in another one have a good one everybody goodbye